Hello, and on the bench today we have a HP frequency counter. It's the 53132A. Now, I've been after one of these for a few years, but they're usually extremely expensive. And this came up on eBay, and nobody bid for it except for me, and I got it very cheaply. They're not, normally they're ridiculously expensive, like a thousand quid or more, and um, I, I didn't pay anywhere near that amount for it. It was, uh, can't quite understand why nobody bid for it, but for me, of course, um, there wasn't much of a description about it. It didn't say if it worked, it just said it was used and there was no pictures of it working. So I was taking a bit of a risk and um, not only that, it comes with the free gigahertz channel free option which often they don't come with and you can buy kits on eBay for about mm, probably less than a hundred quid but it's a massive bonus to have that already installed I dread to think what HP would charge for it and not only that it's got an, in an oven in it as well let me just turn it around Okay, that's the um, back view, and um, I don't know if you can see, it's got various options. Medium stability oven, high stability oven, ultra stability oven, and I've got the medium stability oven, which is the lowest cost option. But any oven's a bonus over the normal counter, which is just comes with a basically a crystal, which is extremely unstable and not very accurate. Anyway, so I'm bloody lucky to get that, really. I'll just turn it back around again. So, I've got it connected up in the moment to the GPS DO, and it's on maximum resolution at the moment. Um, it's a 12-digit counter. And normally when you turn it on, it defaults to 0 0.1 second gate time, 100 milliseconds gate time. But I've manually configured the gate at one second to get the maximum resolution. So right on the end here is basically 100 microhertz, which is a ridiculously small thing, number to think about, but whatever. So I'm just getting the absolute maximum resolution at the moment. And it's actually not too bad. It's been on a few hours now. So the oven's warmed up and it's nice and stable. And it's only it's only 0.15 hertz out, according to the uh, signal I'm getting from the GPS DO. It's just reading slightly high. Obviously the oven is, the crystal oven is running a bit lower than 10 megahertz. So I thought I might just try and do the... Uh, calibration on the uh, crystal oven. Now the oven that is in there is um, it's calibrated by using a a DAC, the digital to analog converter and um, what you do is you stick 10 megahertz in it and tell it to calibrate itself and then it adjusts the voltage on the trim connection on the oven via the uh, DAC DAC. So I'll just um, set all that up and try and go ahead and do the uh, calibration. Okay, I've got it wired up ready for calibration and I've got the scope in view. And what I'm doing is um, I'm putting 10 megahertz into the counter and that's being uh, monitored and teed off and monitored on channel 1 of the scope. And scope's triggered on that channel obviously and on the second channel of the scope I'm taking the 10 megahertz reference out from the back of the counter which is basically what's coming out of the oven oscillator so as you can see it's drifting which is what you expect unless the two signals are identical and I guess the difference is as it says on the uh, front of the counter at 0.1 hertz 
Um, difference, 0.14 hertz difference. So, um, I'll just try and get into the um, calibration menu. I'm trying to remember how you do it. Um, uh, right, I think you have to press, turn the power off, and that doesn't affect the oven. It's still connected all the time when the thing's plugged in. Then you press scale and offset, and hold that down, and pr turn the power back on. And it says cal and secure, so I don't have to un unlock it, in other words. And then I think you press scale and offset again. Yeah, and then you get a calibration menu. So I don't I only want to calibrate the time base. Um, not quite sure what all these are. I'd have to read the manual, but I'm really only interested in doing the time base. So that's that one, and gain, not interested in doing that. Or the gain on channel two. TI quick, can't remember what that does. TI find, don't, they? don't remember what that does either. All uh, right, calibrate time base, that's the one I want. So press enter. Right, it says supply 10 megahertz, which is what I more or less expected it to say. And press enter. So I'll go ahead and do that. Now it's calibrating. Let's go back to the scope quickly. And you can see it's trying to tune the um, oven. And I, it can take a while to do this, I believe. Right, it's coming into lock now. And it's gone off again. It really is having a, a good time. Still says calibrating on the unit. Yep, it's coming back in again. I guess it has to do a few um, cycles to get the absolute best accuracy. Now it seems to have locked. Right, it still says calibrating. Oh, it's, no, it's still moving a bit. Okay, it's probably going to take a while. I'm going to just pause for a minute until it stops playing around. Okay, it's come into lock. It's drifting, but anyway, it says TB calibrate cal pass. So, wonder what you do now. Okay, I don't want to do that again. Um, uh, looks like I'm going to have to go through all that again. Unless I turn it off. Turn it back on again. Okay, well it's um, it's better than it was. It's um, still not quite perfect, I would say. I might just do that calibration again. I've watched a few videos of people doing this, and you, so I'm just repeating what they've done. But um, apparently, it helps to do the calibration a few times. So I'm going to do that calibration again. Right, and to oh, I just wait for it to get go through all this rubbish. And it goes back again to to re trying to recalibrate, which you can see here. So I'm just gonna pause again. Okay, it's done the second calibration and still a bit of drift on there, but I'm not too worried about that because um, I'm not going to use it on the internal uh, reference most of the time anyway. It, it will be um, used with the uh, GPSDO plugged into its external reference input. If we look at the uh, input, at the frequency now, it's uh, 0.0. 3 hertz error so that's good enough so 
I'll just go through some of its other functions. So I've got um, ten megahertz going in from the signal generator. I'm just going to do a frequency check on that input, channel one input. It should work up to 225 megahertz, but I'm sure it will go beyond that. So I'll just take the frequency up a bit. So that's 200 megahertz, no problems at all. That's 250, no problems. Zero, zero dBm input, by the way. Two seventy, still working, no problem at all. Three hundred, still working at three hundred. Yep, 310 seems to be the absolute maximum, which is way beyond what it should do at um, 225 megahertz. So I'll just try on the uh, channel 3 input. So you select channel 1 to channel 3 and yeah 310 that's uh, 1 gigahertz and as, as expected it works fine Two gigahertz and getting to the limits of my uh, generator and it goes goes up to 2.5 okay that's as high as my generator goes 2.51 gigahertz um, just I'll just take the level down Oh, that's minus 20 dBm and it's still working. Minus 25 still working. Minus 30 and it's still working. So it's dropping out about minus 33 and I think it's um, specification says minus 30 dBm uh, is the uh, minimum sensitivity on that input. So that's fine. It's all working great. So um, maybe I should take it apart and see what's inside it. Okay, um, got it apart eventually. Yeah, it's a bit of a struggle. So I didn't have the right torques bit, but never mind. And over here is the crystal oven made by Isotemp, which I think I've heard of. And um, underneath here, we've got the switch mode power supply, which works from 100 to 240 volts. And lastly, you can see this board here, which is the uh, 3 gigahertz option. So that's pretty good. It's a bit dusty in here. It's been um, obviously used for quite a long time and the fan has sucked a lot of dust in. But um, I can clean it out if I feel like it. Anyway, that's about the end of it. The video, I think, very nice counter for not very much money.
So, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.